welcome today i'll be sharing with you how i make simple chicken curry under 30 minutes let's get started first start by adding some oil into your pan i'm using vegetable oil on medium high heat Next, go ahead to add in your onions. I'm using one large onion and sometimes people tend to add the chicken first but I love to start with the onions so that I cook them completely. Once the onions are translucent and beautiful, go ahead to add in your garlic and ginger. Next, it's time to add in your chicken. I have used three chicken breasts that I've cut into biteable sizes and this can serve between three to four people. So we are going to add some seasoning to add those beautiful flavors. I've started with the salt. I have cumin, one teaspoon. Garam masala, about half a teaspoon. Curry powder about half a teaspoon because we are making a curry and this is a staple spice for your dish. Also went ahead to add in just a little bit of turmeric. These next seasonings are completely optional but if you can please use them. I'm going to add in some paprika as you can see then proceed to stir your chicken with those seasonings. those chicken pieces are cooking really good as you can see and the aroma is beautiful i went ahead to add in just a little bit of cinnamon and please if you can add some cinnamon because this is a game changer to your chicken curry i also added one optional ingredient and that is one leaf of bay leaf This chicken has been cooking for about 10 minutes, so it's actually almost done. I have gone ahead to add in my pureed tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes as well. Make sure that you blanch them. That is putting them in hot boiling water for about 2 minutes and then peel off the skin so that you can cook them and they completely break down so that you can have that beautiful sauce. In case you feel like your chicken is too dry, you can add just a little bit of water, but mine is perfect. After that, go ahead to add in your coconut milk and this is a must on your chicken curry. You could also use coconut cream, still okay. Go ahead to cover your pan or pot and let it simmer and cook till it's well done. As you can see the sauce has simmered down, the chicken is ready and the aroma is so good especially from that coconut milk cream. Mm. This is where you finish up your curry by adding some coriander and it is ready to serve. Also don't forget to take out the bay leaf. I served this beautiful curry with some rice and I can't wait for you guys to try it. It was absolutely delicious and the aroma was to die for. Please share it with your friends and family. Consider subscribing if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, bye bye.